In this Flash and Action Script 3 lesson, we'll be demonstrating how you can uh, put a click or a down effect in the timeline of your animated movie clip buttons. So this is an example of an animated movie clip button menu with sound. And you can see that as I go over the, the buttons, they have an over effect. They grow in an animated fashion and then they shrink back in an animated fashion when I release or when I roll out with my mouse um, and the new part is when you click now they get bigger with a little animation and I send it to this dynamic text field to say you clicked on button 1 you clicked on button 2 you clicked on button 4 you clicked on button 3 and I made it do that so you can understand how to utilize these buttons so they're just not uh, sitting here and you don't know how to apply the code to make it do things in your scene I set the code up for you and uh, so that's pretty much it for the button it has a sound I demonstrate how to put a sound on it and make it have a click or a down effect as well as an over and an out effect so let's take a look at the FLA and the code um, so if you go inside it, each button is set up exactly the same inside each button is a movie clip this one has an instance name of button 1 in the properties inspector. This one has an instance name of button 2, 3, and 4. And if you click on one or any one of those buttons, you go inside of it, you'll see that there's three states now. We have our over, our out that we had originally from our first tutorial. And now I added the click state. And the click state is the third state there. And that happens when the user. Uh, clicks the button we instruct it using the action script uh, in the parent scene right here scene one right now we're inside of button one the movie clip so uh, here we have a stop action there's a stop action and there's a stop action you'll notice there's no stop action on the last one uh, because I want it to loop and stop back on frame one it'll hit this stop action I want it to not stop here and stop here so I don't put a stop action here if I wanted it to stop here on this last frame then I would make keyframe and put a stop action there but I don't want that so uh, what happens is uh, actually you already saw what happened so let's go look at the code so the code is set up to engage these buttons and go inside of them and do certain things so uh, I commented above all of the sections of importance here uh, where you might need to understand what the code's doing there and then uh, there's three event listeners and there's three uh, functions for each button set up and I only commented the first uh, the whole set for button one button two three and four are more compact down there to save space and you can understand what they're doing by what uh, button one's comments here and uh, if you have any trouble, just get into the forum there, and we'll try and get you an answer uh, as quickly as possible. And uh, let's see if there's anything else I need to discuss. This one's pretty simple. Um, one of our forum members actually requested that we take the tutorial a little bit further because the, they didn't understand how to make a, a click effect there. But now this should clear it all up and show you how to get a click effect that's animated as well and there's a whole lot of different ways to skin a cat in flash uh, but that's just one method of making your button menu nice and animated and uh, maybe in a future tutorial we'll show you how to when the button one is rolled over to make button two three and four move out the way a little bit then when button two is rolled over we'll make button one three and four move away a little bit. That's always a cool effect. You see that on a lot of nice flash sites. Okay, we'll see you guys next lesson.